Hey everybody, this is Jake, and today I'm going to show you how I made these custom crates from reclaimed wood. This idea came to me for some storage I needed on some metal shelves in the garage. And I currently have some old crates there from Michael's my wife bought quite a while ago. But I decided, you know what, I think I'm going to just make some of my own that fit those shelves just right. All of this wood is from a local auto shop, and these are from crates that they have from snow piles that they install. It's all nice hardwood of different varieties, and I think it's going to work out really nice. I decided to make a jig in order to put a nice straight edge on all of these slats. Uh, none of them are straight, and I just need to get one straight edge on each side, and then I can go ahead and flip it around and put a straight edge on the opposite side. I've got about 16 pieces to cut for all the four sides, plus another five to six for the bottom of each box. After getting all of them parallel, now I gotta square up each end, and then I'll be able to cut these down to size. I'm gonna need eight pieces that are gonna be 14 inches long, and then another eight pieces that are gonna be 17 inches long uh, to make these fit three across. I do have a lot of scrap left over and waste left over, but I'm sure I'm gonna find something else to do with those. I've already got a couple ideas brewing for that and also just some ideas for just how do I process this next time. So I drew up a little template for the handle. I'm going to put a handle on all four sides of the box. So I just cut it out and just got a little wood glue and just stuck that sucker down. After I have my template cut out, I'm just making up a jig here in order to make these handles a little bit easier for me. Uh, after I put this down, I discovered, wait a minute, this is going to be too long for my 14-inch piece, so I'm going to have to cut some of this off. So I'm going to just mark it off and go take a little table saw and trim it down. Now that I have it the right size, I'm going to screw my template to the back of the jig and then attach two side pieces on either side to capture the piece right and left and then actually attach another piece on the front of the jig to keep the handle that I'm cutting in place. I'm using a flush trim router bit in order to the handle, uh, but what I discovered was I didn't have my router bit set up properly and I actually dug into my template. So now I've got to make a new template and put that in. I also put my front piece a little bit lower. I think that's going to work better for what I'm doing here. So let's give it another shot. Now what happened was I actually got this a little bit too far back so I had to drill another hole and bring this up flush with my piece I'm going to cut. Here I'm just marking the center of my board to make sure it lines up with the center of my handle and adjusting my right and left stops. I'm going to make sure they're in the right place and away we go. After I cut on my four handles I'm just going to take my eighth inch round over bit and go over the part where I cut to break that edge up just a little bit and soften it. Okay. 
I also got these 2x4s from some pallets I broke down. And so I just trimmed off the edge and I'm just cutting these at a 45. The blade wasn't quite hard enough, so I gotta bring that up just a little bit more. Let's try it again. So I'm gonna cut these all at a 45 and I'm gonna create these to look kind of like an apple crate, if you will. I kind of thought about well, how do I wanna make this? Do I wanna make straight? And I thought this would be the best design, especially because I wanna make these stacking. Once I have all my pieces cut, now it's time to start assembling. And so I actually took one of those 45 and I stapled it to the table here to kind of secure it in place. I also have a small block there just to make sure I've got the right amount of blocks sticking out from the bottom piece of slat. And that's going to enable me to stack these together, which is really what I'm looking for. Applying just a little bit of glue on each contact point and just tacking that down with a one inch nail brad. So I'm building the two shorter side pieces first and then I can attach the two longer 17 inch pieces to these once these are built. After starting to put this together, I discovered if I just put one pin in and then kind of get everything squared up and adjusted, then I can go ahead and come back and tack that later. Once I get going with all the pieces nailed in place, it's just a matter of putting on the other two pieces on all four sides and it went together fairly quickly. Now that the four sides are done, it's time to put on the bottom. So I'm just going to mark both pieces for the bottom and cut out these.
chicken off. So once that was done, uh, test fit it and just had to flip it around and it fit perfectly. After everything fits together well, I just took some 120 sandpaper and went over the outside of the crate just to kind of knock off any of the rough spots. After that, just took a little bit of walnut oil and put that on the protectant. I'm going to do the inside of the crate too. But I just want to kind of see how it would look, and it turned out great. So it's time to take everything off the shelf and see how it fits. So I'm really happy with how these turned out. It took a little while for me to mill down this wood I got from my crates, uh, but it was worth it, I think. It, there's, it's nice hardwood. Uh, I got some cool colors coming off of this when I put the walnut finish on, so that was really neat, and they're gonna last me a long time. So if you have any comments or suggestions, I'd love for you to put those down below in the comment section. If you have any questions, I'd love to have those down in the comment section too, and I'll be sure to get back to you. If this is your first time to my channel, I'd love for you to subscribe and catch everything else I'm putting out. This is Jacob Altrade saying we'll see you next time.